Hello friends, here we have discussed student attendance system student module, and in this video we will see how can an admin add new student data in the student attendance system. Previously, we have seen how to load student table data on web page in jQuery data table, now for add new student data, we have go to student.php file. Here we have write button tag, with type is equal to button, id is equal to add button, and in button text we have write add, by click on add button bootstrap for modal will pop up on web page for enter student details. After this here we have create span tag with attribute id is equal to message operation, under this we will display success message on web page using jQuery. Here we have add bootstrap date picker library for use data picker feature in form for select student date of birth. After this, we have use bootstrap for modal skeleton for add new student record, in this modal we have add id is equal to form modal. Under modal dialog class, we have create form, with attribute method is equal to post, id is equal to student form. Here in modal title class, we have add id attribute is equal to modal title, by using this attribute, we can display dynamic modal title. Now we have defined form tag field, so here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and id is equal to student name, under this admin can enter student name details. For display student name validation error, here we have create span tag with id is equal to error student name, student name validation error will display under this tag. After this, for enter student roll number details, here we have write input type is equal to text field, with name, and id is equal to student roll number, under this admin can enter student role number details. For display student role number validation error, here we have create span tag with id is equal to error student role number, student role number validation error will display under this tag. Same way for enter student date of birth details, here we have write input type is equal to text, with name, and id is equal to student date of birth, under this admin can enter student date of birth details. For display student date of birth validation error, here we have create span tag with id is equal to error student date of birth, so student date of birth validation error will display under this tag. After this assign grade to student, here we have write select tag, with name, and is equal to student grade id, under this tag, we want to list available grade. And here we have write echo statement with, load grade list function with dollar connect variable it will list grade name under this select box for display student grade id validation error here we have create span tag with id is equal to error student grade id so student grade id validation error will display under this tag now we have go to modal footer class, and here we have create input type is equal to hidden, name and id is equal to student id, under this tag we will store student id details. 
For define data operation action, here we have create input type is equal to hidden, name and ID is equal to action, and value is equal to add, by default we have set add as value to this tag. For submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and ID is equal to button action, and in value we have write add, by click on this button form data will be submitted. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, and here first we want to enable data picker on data of birth tag. So here we have write dollar with text ID student date of birth with date picker method, it will initialize bootstrap date picker plugin. Under this method, we have write first option format, and here we have define date format, and after this we have write auto close option set true. After this, we have create clear field function, it will clear all form fields details. Under this function, we have write dollar with form ID student form with zero index with reset method, it will clear all form field details. For clear student name validation error, here we have write dollar with span tag ID error student name, with text method with blank value, it will clear validation error. After this for clear student roll number validation error, here we have write dollar with span tag ID error student roll number, with text method with blank value, it will clear validation error. Same way for clear student date of birth validation error, here we have write dollar with span tag ID error student date of birth, with text method with blank value, it will clear validation error. Now for clear student grade ID validation error, here we have write dollar with span tag ID error student grade ID, with text method with blank value, it will clear validation error. Now we have proceed for pop-up modal, here we have write dollar with button ID add button with click event, if admin click on add button then this block of code will execute. Under this, we have write dollar with ID modal title, with text method, and under this we have write add student, it will display this text on modal header. For set add text on submit button, here we have write dollar with submit button id button action with value method, and under this we have write add, it will change button text to add. Same way for define action, here we have write dollar with hidden tag id action with value method, and under this we have write add, it will assign this value to this hidden tag. For pop-up modal on web page, here we have write dollar with modal ID form modal with modal method, and under this we have write show, it will pop up on web page. Lastly, we have called clear field function, it will clear all form field and validation error on web page, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page here we can see add button has been appear on web page. Now we have click on add button, after click on add button modal has been pop up on web page, here we can see student data add form, at modal header we can see add student title, now in next part we will discuss, how to submit form data using Ajax with PHP. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, 
please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.